Hello, everybody! Greetings and salutations. This is Tim, and you are watching Lodestar Gaming. It is Wednesday night, Genshin. And I just had to bring it up. Here it is. So, how's everybody doing? It is Wednesday night, Genshin, one of my favorite times of the week where I share my love of Genshin with the world. And for many of you, you did not know if I had gotten Raiden Shogun. I did get Raiden Shogun at great expense to myself. Yes, I pay for this game and it sucks. Yes, I'm a whaler. Yes, it sucks. But uh, I did get her and it actually worked out really well. She's very good. I still have to level her up quite a bit. So I haven't really dove in uh, to Genshin for a little bit. It's obviously been a little bit of time. So we are... Going at it here. Ah, here we go. Get our login in. So there's Raiden. We got her. Uh, I put her into my team. As you guys can see, my team is set here with... Sengana uh, Miya Kakomi, Nahida, Raiden Shogun, and of course, Kaidehara Kazuwa. It just rolls off the tongue. Kaidehara Kazuwa. So there they are. And the team is not bad. Um, the problem is, is obviously Raiden's only at level 40 right now, or level 50 right now, so I have to get her going up. So, I have to ascend her, and as you can see, I am short some ascension materials, so... We have to go fight her boss to get her ascension materials, number one, and number two, get those lovely electro... crystals. So, we have to bring out... The big boys. And the big boys are coming over here to fight the giant electric moth. So I am trying to level up uh, Raiden. And I, this right now is my is my top group. This is an SS tier group uh, consisting of Arataki Ito, Albedo, Goru, and of course, my favorite, Zhang Li. So... They are fighting this battle against Thunderman's Vestation. This is Stabilize. Order a boss fight that I have to fight a lot. Coming to be moments of birth. Well, that was a terrible throw. Come on. I gotta put Ushi somewhere. Come over here. Oh, you bastard. So yes, this is the grinding part of the game. Alright, just went right through that. It's alright though. This is the grinding part of the game where you have to get materials. This is why Zhongli's shield is so absolutely imperative for this group. First force, witness my great undertaking. Attaboy! Alright, come on, Zhong Li, let's get that going. Alright, that's not gonna do it. You know, watch it. Why don't I just go in the circles? Why don't I just stay away from the circles? There we go. I don't dodge enough. There we go. Press the advantage. Drop it over here. See if I can get him over here. Just stand there for ten minutes so I can beat on you. See, once I get Ito going on his burst damage, it is absolutely devastating. Stabilize. And of course, I don't even have him fully pumped up. Feel this ancient power. And Albedo's my off DPS, so... There we go. So I have to grind on this end for two people. Raiden is number one, and number two is Nahida. I've got to grind for both of them because Nahida is also in, ne in need of things, as you can tell here. 
Nahida is in need of Yonder, which is where we get it from the dendrohypostasis, and of course those, the Nagadus Emerald Gemstones. I need those, and of course, Kalpalata Kal Kal Lotuses, and Crystalline Cyst Dust, which I have none of that yet, but I am trying to get Raiden up upgraded so that would be that's the one thing i need to get her at least somewhat rolling so i can get her going so let's see here Ooh, legend Ooh, we get to fight the electro regis vine i like fighting the electro regis vine we're gonna run over there and show you guys the electro regis vine that's always a lot of fun to fight that bastard i like fighting the electro regis vine it's actually quite fun he's a big boy He's a big, stinky boy. Let's just plop this here. Oh, that's not going to work. All right, I'll just screw that up. Oh, have, a, have a meteor. Smash your face in me. Let's try this again. I want to do this. See, I'm trying to get that. And I'm trying to get that. And I'm trying to get that. So I can do damage to him. And now I can beat his ass. Where's his little... There it is. Alright, there you go. Now die. Or don't die yet. Alright. Smash your face in it. That'll work. Where'd you go? I haven't fought the electro red spider. Oh, there it goes. That's what I need to do. Give me that. Give me your meat. This is why Geo sucks. There, he finally goes. My god, go. Die! I will have order. Now it's time to beat his ass. There, thank you, Lord. It's the hardest part about Geo is I cannot get it's regular damage. It doesn't do anything else. So that's good. So let's see what that did for our Upgrade! It did! We can ascend her! Yay! Here we go. So now she is on her way to level 60. I will grab a wish. Which is excellent. So we will get that done. I like just bopping these wishes out. Let's just knock it out. We're not getting anything anyway. Thank you. We'll take it. Okay. So, now we've got two down. I probably need to go back over to the Fahonix over here. Yes, or the Electrobug. So, we'll go over here. Make sure my boys are up to speed. But, yes, this is, some of the, this is one of the, the more difficult parts of Genshin is getting your characters up and level now it's a grind when you have to fight these bosses and you have to make sure that everybody is up to speed because as you get higher in your level the world level gets higher and harder all right come out come out stabilize oh, actually got through that's a surprise yeah feel this ancient power advance rally let's roll all right, promising start. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, you crutter. 
Oh, I had him. All right, that's it. It's time for beatdowns. Come over here. Hello. You know, even though his defense is great, stabilize. Fall in. Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello. There you are. Oh yeah, Mr. Spinny Max. So how is everybody doing? It is Genshin Wednesday. How are you doing? It is Lodestar Gaming. My name is Tim. We are enjoying Genshin tonight, trying to grind for our friend who we just recently got. Ride the Shogun. Getting her ascended. We've got her level 50. We're going to do level 60, but I'm going to need a lot of Raiden crystals. And it's hard to pre-grind. I mean, you can, and that's what you should do, but right now, my daughter is pre-grinding for a Hytham, who is coming out in the next patch, which is awesome. And a Hytham is really uh, cool, even though he is a ka build. If you've watched the videos where you see him fighting, he is very similar to ka in and how she fights. And so, I know my daughter's looking forward to him, but good lord. I'm not going to need Al Hytham because I'm pretty much set on my teams. Let's roll. There we go. But I know uh, my daughter's extremely excited about Hytham, and I know that uh, he's going to be awesome. Even though I think he's going to be a main DPS, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure he's going to be a main DPS. So uh, that is my thought. That's I'm not seeing all of the leaks, but I'm pretty sure he is going to be a main DPS. And the last fight of the evening uh, with a boss will be with our good friend, the Dendro Hypostasis. Because we still need to get stuff for Nahida. And I need to put her in the group real quick because you have to have her in the group or a Dendro. I've been for you for ages. Oh shush, Char Char Dendro character in the group to help you with this battle. Why is Zhongli my favorite? Well, I like Zhongli a lot. He is my favorite Archon, uh, which is a god in this game. Uh, and his power is fantastic. He is, quite possibly and arguably, the best support in the game because of his shield. This thing right here Solidify. is pretty darn amazing. And then, of course, this thing right here this is pretty is darn amazing too, which is his yeah. meteor. Attaboy. This is the Dendro Hypostasis. You guys saw the fight, I think, the last time. Catch me. But I love Zhongli. He is my favorite. He always will be my favorite. I can't tell you exactly why. Why am I using her? I'm not using her. Witness my great undertaking. <laughs> Zhongli is my favorite. My second favorite is Ayaka, and I'll play with her a little bit, although I don't really have her. She's going to be part of my third team, which is an SS tier team as well. Stabilize. That's wrong. Come on, dude. Yes, these boss battles are harder with Geo teams. Because Geo does not do special damage, they only have crystallized. What you're hoping for is some elemental reactions. Ow, that busted me. That's not good. I don't like that. That needs a hash brown. For everybody, hash browns all around. That was not nice. Oh God, I always miss it. Hit him. That's why I like Zhongli. And his story quest is really good too. I really enjoy his story quest. It was my favorite of the Archon story quests, even though Nahida's was very interesting. I can't stand Venti's. I can't stand Venti the Bard. He's a drunk. 
There we go. There we go. That's what we needed to see there. And he's going to avoid it the whole time. No, 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 not with your tentacles. Leave it alone. Yes, yes. That didn't hurt me at all. Alright, now I can do some extra damage on him. And now we have Nahida time. Winga. And Winga. Stay, stay. Do not block. Thank you. Okay, come on now. You can hit me. Come on, I'm over here. I don't know why I just did that, but it just looks pretty. Ha uh ha. -huh. He didn't blank anything. You can't shoot that far. I win. You lose. Bye. Okay. So, really the thing I need to work on with my people in uh, into my main party. Geo really is set. I really probably need to upgrade my, my uh, artifacts. That's what I, I probably need to work on that. But, since I've run out of resin for the day, that will be something that I will have to do later on. So, the rest of this episode, we'll be focusing on our dailies, which are up here. And I recommend everybody do the dailies, because you get, obviously, primos for them, and you can buy things with the primos, which is awesome. So, uh, I'll show you uh, Ayaka's group, which you guys haven't seen Ayaka yet, I don't think. I really like Ayaka. She's right here, Kamisato Ayaka. She is my second favorite character, as my daughters have made me rate and rank my favorites. And Kaidehara Kazuwa, who happens to be on two of my teams, is my third favorite. So, thank you. And as you can see, she is an ice, a cryo, if you will. So, and she has a nice little special thing where she can ride around in grass and land like that. So, she is also a sword. On this team also is, of course, Kaidehara Kazuwa, Mona, who is water, and Diona, who is my healer on this group. So. No, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to go over here to my dailies. Oh, Lord. It takes forever. All right, let's knock out these hilly trees. Oh, hello, guys. Sorry, I didn't see you over there. Uh, freeze. Shadows of fate. Fate is upon you. Yeah. Man, let's just get everybody frozen. Oh, uh, you missed me. Ha ha. That's true. Friday Hara. Go, 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 go. And time for spin. And this is one of my favorite ulti uh, burst damages. No, you can't really. Yeah, you're just sitting there blocking it and you're just screwing yourself. Those are. Oh, there are more? Oh, delicious. Everybody else wants to come and join the party. No, no, no. Do not hit. You're for us. Thank you. Oh, don't you be hauling bombs at me. Everybody gather around. And you guys can see how the elemental reactions, this is why the elemental reactions are important. Uh, Geo is very good, don't get me wrong, and it is my favorite element, but the elemental reactions are extremely important. In this case, you've got Mona who provides water, and Kamisato who provides ice, and Diona who provides ice. And it freezes them. So there are other reactions, obviously, uh, with every element on this group. So, or in, in other groups as well. The one group I have that's extremely good that I want to get better, obviously, because I need to level them up, is this group here. And this is the one with Raiden Shogun. And essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to get reactions. Reactions cause more damage. And essentially, uh, uh, Sangonomiya Kokomi is my main DPS on this group. She is water. And of course, when I drop Nahida, Nahida is Dendro, which is grass. And when Kokomi and Nahida hit, that creates Bloom. And then, of course, when I hit Raiden in there, who is electrical, she does Hyper Bloom. And then, of course, Kadehara Kazuwa does, does Animo, which is air. And that brings everybody together and does a lot of damage. And I'll show you that here in a second with this next set here. We've got two 
dailies over this way that we have to do. We have to get those knocked out. By the way, welcome. Thank you for joining me. It is Wednesday night. It is Wednesday night Genshin. We keep Wednesday nights for Genshin. As I was saying earlier, you guys can see in uh, my video from, uh, I believe it was Sunday night, uh, I am going to be trying to do some retro gaming here. I've got several things. I've got my Switch here, and I've got my old Nintendo. I've got a Nintendo... Uh, 64 slash Nintendo combo unit, which is great. I've got some old games. I really am going to try and set up my retro gaming, and I'm going to take a day of the week. And I'm going to do some retro gaming because I want to get you guys, I want to show you guys exactly what I gamed with as a kid and why my daughters are so crazily angry at me because I love Mega Man and they cannot stand Mega Man. They struggle with Mega Man. Okay, that's not going well. There's Kazuma's air. There's Raiden who's getting her ass beat, which I really... There is Nahida. And you can see how they react. See how all of it comes down? And what Nahida does... Don't throw that at me. She links everybody together. And then Kazuwa does... The air damage. Of course, Raiden... That's the electrical. And then... See the hyper boom. You see all the reactions and all the damage hit. And you just basically liquefy everybody. But you see how it all works. And it all works together. But Raiden was the most important part of this group because she does have the little eye. You see the eye above her. That creates reactions to every enemy, and no matter who your character is, they have that little circle around them with the eye, and they can do increased electro electrical damage. So, and we're going to cook a little bit, because I've got some mints. It's not Monstat Hash Browns. There's nothing better than Monstat Hash Browns. Do I have Monstat Hash Browns? I don't have monster hash browns? What the hell? I've got mushroom pizza, but no monster hash browns? Alright, well, whatever. But there's lettuce on the ground here. We'll grab that. Or cabbage. Oh my god, can we just stop this? There. No, 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 no. I want that. Thank you. So, that's what I'm trying to get at, and that's why this group will eventually be my number one group. And, this is one of my favorite things Nahida can do. Everyone hold hands. She can collect things via her little camera thingy. And the reason I love this game is I'm a huge fan of Breath of the Wild, which the next Breath of the Wild is coming out here in a couple months, so we're looking forward to that. I am so looking forward to playing that game, and it is so massive and immense, but I didn't think there was a game that was more massive and immense. Until Genshin came out. And now Genshin is officially four lands with Mondstadt being the first, Leeway being the second. The third is Inazuma that was released last year, uh, or I'm sorry, in 2021. And then, of course, the newest one, uh, Sumeru, in 2022. And then 2023 will bring us, end of this year, I believe, brings us Fontaine. Oh, hello, gentlemen. What's up? Lock him in. Bring him all over. Oh, my God. Where did that guy come from? No matter. We'll kill him anyway. Yes. The, yes, the sword comes out of her boobs. I don't know why that is. Boom it. Don't hurt me. Oh, my God. That hurt. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna lock you in, buddy. Thank you. Make at home. And this, right there, her burst. Oh, Alright, well, I guess we just hose everybody, whatever. But her burst is what enhances everything. So Nahida's burst is that huge cathedral, right? So that's what enhances all the damage. And you can see just how powerful, even at level 50, which she's not totally... Raiden is not obviously all the way up. I've got three, two out of the three, well, I'm sorry, one out of the three up to level 90, which I believe is 
Kokomi. Kokomi is at 90. Well, she's almost at 90. I'm at level 89 with her. And then the Heat is at 80. I still have to ascend her. Raiden is at level 50. We'll get her leveled up. And then, of course, I still have to ascend Kaede Harakazawa, which I'm almost done. I just have to fight more air people. So, you can see I'm just I'm waiting to just ascend. It's, there's just a grind where I have to get the ascension materials, and then I have to get experience and it's it is it's a little bit of a grind but certainly not the grind that like i said world of warcraft was world of warcraft was nightmarish and it actually the, the grind actually turned me off of the game and i am not with world of warcraft especially i was not big into raiding even though i i used to be very good at it and i used to be a tank when i first played world of warcraft the very first world of warcraft when it came out in 2004 I played that first, and I was a tank, I was a warrior, and I hated all the all the stance switching and stuff like that you had to do. You had to do the stance switching and go to defensive stance and attack stance and whatever, and it sucked. And it was hard, but I ended up getting it right and getting it down to, to the point where I was in a group as a, as a off-tank for uh, Molten Core. And so I ended up uh, fighting that, and, I ended up, and then I actually got to fight Anixia a couple times, which was fun. But then I actually switched over and I started to go DPS. And one of my favorite things about the DPS was uh, the Warlock. Warlock was my favorite class. Um, the Destro Warlock was my favorite class. I absolutely love the Destro Warlock. I have nothing but good things to say about the Destro Warlock. And I actually ran him for a while. And I didn't like Demonology. I didn't like that one. And then eventually... This brand, after the, the last uh, expansion, uh, I ended up doing a Affliction Warlock, which I enjoyed a lot more, even though people were like, well, Affliction's stupid, you just, you know, you just put on buffs, and I'm like, yeah, but it was, I actually enjoyed it a lot, so. But you see, we gathered everybody around, and you guys see all those green things? That is the money shot because those explode when water hits them and electro hits them and you see all the words pop up hyper bloom and everything like that it just all pops up and that's how you know that you're hitting and that's where that's the secret to genshin's damage is Combining those, switching up people in the middle of it, and combining those to get maximized stuff. And obviously, you know, it's it's not as much pain to play as, as you would think. I mean, it's very hard to get a, a, a constellation rising. So if you see these constellations here with Raiden, especially when you get these constellations, she gets higher powers, right? But you have to roll and get those constellations, and it's absolutely impossible so most of the C, the high constellation people I have, or high C people, like C6 or C5, are four stars. I have a couple of five stars that are a couple, that are Cs. I have, I think, let me make sure. I believe, yes, I believe Gene, who is who tends to be one of the one of the people you get when you lose the 50/50 on the banner. I have a couple of of uh, Cs for her, and the last one I ended up getting, uh, which was Mona. I have one, she's a C1, where she gets Prophecy of Submission. So it actually strengthens Mona, and she's on one of my teams, so it was very helpful. Jean is not on one of my teams. I'm not a big fan of Jean, but it just it's just how you want to roll with it. But I'm so glad I got riding. I am absolutely just pumped I got riding. So, And it's just a lot of fun to get this group together, and I hope... I'm going to, by next week, you guys will see a little bit more damage and some good things from them because I'm going to be working on getting their, uh, getting them ascended, getting them leveled up, and getting them all sorts of, uh, all sorts of different things. So I want to get them good artifacts and stuff like that. So that's really what I'm trying to do is just get them up and then... Once you get them up, you have to start working on their talents. And talents are world bosses. And I think next time we are going to fight some world bosses. And I will show you guys exactly how those go. Those are interesting. Um, I have fought world bosses before and they are 
difficult. The newest one is, of course, Scaramouche. Add Astra and sauce. I can't wait to... I've already, beat, I've already beaten that one, and I really don't need it. But it is a fun fight, I will say that. Um, and I, I'm looking, I, I'm looking forward sauce. to seeing... The, what they do when Thank they, you for they completing today's there's conditions. a lot of opening open-ended plot that we still have yet to see uh, when this newest expansion for Sumeru comes out in about two weeks with Alhytham that's going to be the next thing they're actually adding another new area to Sumeru and Sumeru might be as big or bigger than Leeway which was huge anyway so guys thank you very much hit that subscribe button hit the like button I appreciate you joining me for another Genshin Wednesday, Wednesday night Genshin, and give me a give me a like, give me a follow, give me a subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Love gaming, love Genshin. Guys, take care and have an awesome, awesome day.